Okay, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today we've got a very nice vehicle to bring to you guys attention. This is the newest addition to our inventory and it is a 1969 Dodge Super B. Now this one is done here obviously in the scorch red exterior color here. Very nice paint the whole way around on this car. Nice, smooth, shiny paint. All of the panels, the alignment is great on them. All of the bright work, the bumpers, the uh, uh, drip rails, all of that stuff is in really good shape. Um, we'll point out that stuff as I walk around the car. Um, now the first thing we're going to notice on this car is the hood. It is the twin scoop. It is the N96 Ram Charger hood option. That's what this car came with. Uh, as you can see, the hood's in great shape. The twin scoops. 383 emblems on those scoops with the bright work, the molding on the front edge of those scoops, all in very nice shape. As we come back to car a little bit, the very next thing we'll go over is wheels and tires. Uh, wheels on this car, uh, we've kept with the kind of the factory look. These are the Magnum 500 style wheels here for this car. They are 14 inch wheels. They've got the beauty rings in the center caps as you can see. And for the tires, these are BF Goodrich Radial TAs, all in the black wall version here. These are 215 70R14s up front, 23570 SR14s on the back of the car. Also, now that we're back along the side of the car here, you can see the fitment, as I call it, here on the doors. You can see the gaps at the front, as well as gaps at the back side of the door. Very uniform elevations with the quarters and the fenders are all right on with this car. All of your body lines are in alignment with one another, so everything looks great here. As far as accessories on the outside here, we do have the mirror over here on the driver's side. Done in chrome finish and the glass, all of that is in great shape. As far as our windows here on the driver's side, obviously on these cars you've got the vent window up front, of course your door glass, quarter window. All of this glass is in good shape. It is slightly tinted. All of the trim and moldings around these windows in great shape too. Again, the bright drip rail molding here. We always will feel right through that rain gutter to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And it is. And obviously, as you can see here, our car has the black vinyl top on it as well. The top itself is in great shape. All the seams are in great condition. There's no rips, no tears, no uh, peeling up of anything here. And again, all the trim around that vinyl top is in great shape. Even the door handles, no pitting whatsoever on these chrome door handles. They are in great shape. Now let's go ahead inside the car, take a look at this. Now, I failed to mention this scorch red exterior that is original to the car. Um, as far as the white upholstery in here too, this would be the original um, interior, the upholstery and so forth for this car. Uh, carpeting is in great shape, upholstery, no rips or tears, factory dash, factory steering column and steering wheel, all factory instrumentation in here as well. Uh, it does have the four speed shifter right on the floor there and everything, your uh, seat, your carpet, your headliner, door panels, all of these things are in great shape and it has all of the seat belts included in the car too. Now the other thing is our seals and weather stripping. Uh, again, these are your roof rail seals here. Again, these are all in great shape. There's no rips or tears or pieces torn out of it. All nice and soft. It's going to seal up really nice from the outside elements. We'll close this. Door shuts nice and easy. Now before I move on, let me go back inside. I want to grab the key because we always will open up the trunk for you and show you that. So I'll grab that. So again, big long panels on these cars and you can really see how super straight these panels are as you look down the side of the car. Uh, everything's in great shape. Now as we get back here, obviously on our Dodge Super B, we've got that black Super B tail stripe on the car. 
Again, this is vinyl, but it is in great condition as you can see. Now that we're around the back side of the car, obviously you can see the tail panel and the trunk fitment and the bumper. Again, big chrome bumper here in great shape, no pitting there. Down below, you can see the exhaust as it pokes out right underneath. And it's a really nice job they did with that. They kept it tucked up pretty tight there. So again, real nice job. As far as the tail lights, the lenses and the bezels, all of which are in great shape. There's no chips or cracks in any of the lenses and the bezels, the bright work around everything, all looks great. You can see it's the black tail panel here. You've got the Dodge badging back here as well. The actual trunk lid itself, you can see the gaps all the way around that and the elevations with the quarter panels are all very nice. Of course, you've got that curved rear glass here. All the trim work around there is in great shape. No chips or cracks in that window. And as I look down here, it has a option on it that is kind of rare to a lot of cars back in this day and age. Rear defroster in there as well. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our trunk now. And just get the key the right way. There we go. So if we open the trunk up, obviously you can see that the key does work the lock. The latch works itself. The hood hinges and spring all function as they should too. The underside of the trunk lid, that same scorch red as the rest of the exterior of the car. And you've got the uh, decal on the trunk lid there for the jack uh, instructions. It has the little rubber bump stops underneath it there that help it fit nice and snug underneath here. You're weather stripping the whole way around on the trunk. You can see just how nice that is. Looks new, nice and soft. It meets right together here in the center and there's no rips, tears, or chunks taken out of that. Again, in really nice shape. Far as the trunk itself go, trunk's in excellent condition too. You do have a full set of floor mats here. Again, they've got the uh, embroidered Super B emblems on them, so you can put those in the interior of the car. We always elect to leave them out just so we can show you the condition of the carpeting in the car. But other than that, the trunk itself is in outstanding condition. Nice little trunk mat in here. The rest of the trunk floor itself is in great shape too, nice and solid. We'll even go over that when we get to the underside of the car. We'll go ahead and close our trunk lid up. And again, you've got the Super B badging on the trunk lid also. We'll come around now to the passenger side. Again, we'll just point out nice straight panels on this car. We've already gone over all the trim work here. You can just kind of see it now with all of your moldings here. Again, you get the uh, uh, the view of the vinyl top here from the passenger side and again the glass here now on the passenger side same thing no chips or cracks in any of the glass here all of your moldings here and trim pieces are all in great shape you can see your gaps here on the back side as well as the front side of the passenger side door those are very uniform again your elevations here with the front fender and the rear quarter panel and the door again all match up perfect and again your door or your body lines all match up too very well again door handle no pinning so let's go inside take a look at the interior again just from the passenger side again you're just going to notice that you've got the bench seat up front no rips or tears in any of the upholstery you've got the headrests on that front bench seat all your seat belts are there again the carpeting is in great shape the dash itself is in great shape dash pad no cracks whatsoever on there like i said all your factory instrumentation and so forth and then of course like i said the four speed uh, shifter there right on the floor again more of the same thing here your seals all the way around your windows those are all in great shape and will seal up just fine Again, that door shuts nice and easy. You got the fender mount antenna. Again, you can see the matching 383 emblem on the scoop on this side. And that brings us around to the front of the vehicle. Now again, this would be your 69. Uh, it's Dodge Super B front end, front grill here. You can see the grill is all intact, no brakes or anything there. All very nice. Got the Super B badging right there on the grill itself. Nice chrome front bumper, no pitting. You've got your uh, quad headlights up here, so you've got your low beams and high beams here. 
glass lenses, no chips or cracks in any of those, everything all functioning well. And again, all of your bright work around this car is in great shape. Now again, back to our hood. This is that N96 Ram Charger hood option that this car did come with. You can see the gaps and elevations all the way around on this car. Again, those twin scoops with the bright work on the leading edge of those and the 383 emblems on the sides of the scoops. And your windshield, same thing here. No chips or cracks in the windshield. All of your molding and your trim work around that is in great condition. Now we'll go ahead and open up our hood. So let me find that latch. And let's see where are we here. There we go. Okay, so now that we've got the hood open, again, you can kind of see the decal work for that Ram Charger style hood. Again, the underside of the hood all painted that same scorch red as the rest of the car. You've got all your rubbers here and stuff for your hood to seal up nice. Again, all of that stuff all intact. Even the seal around that Ram Charger air cleaner seal all intact and in great shape. Now, as far as the uh, engine compartment itself, Again, having the same color on the engine bay is the way that these Mopars were originally uh, back in the day. So again, you've got your same color, the Scorch Red uh, engine compartment here. That's your inner fenders, that's your cowl. Uh, as far as the motor goes, let's go over that now. Um, this is not the numbers match motor. Uh, however, this car was originally a 383 car, four-speed car. This does have a date correct 383 motor in it. As you can see, it's got the factory style air cleaner there. Underneath it is a Carter four-barrel carburetor. And then it's got the stock cast intake manifold and stock cast exhaust manifold. Of course, you can see the painted valve covers. You've got your breathers on there too. Slightly upgraded ignition system here. It's got the, still kind of got the point style ignition, but it's been upgraded to the uh, MSD Superconductor 8.5 millimeter plug wires, along with a Petronix flamethrower uh, coil there to help deliver a little hotter spark to the engine there. Now, as far as accessories on the motor, uh, we do have power steering uh, on this car. We've also got power brakes, and those are disc brakes on the front drum brakes on the rear um, just factory style stuff there and again it does have uh, the parking brake option all plumbed and all hooked up and functioning as well stock style radiator with the shroud a seven blade uh, non-clutch fan on the motor there to help with pulling purposes and again off of these exhaust manifolds is a full dual exhaust on this thing all the way out the back with those slash cut kind of rectangular um, exhaust tips back there. Again, everything looks very nice and we'll show you that in the underside. Uh, now this does have the fender tag on it, so you're gonna be able to look at all your codes there, see exactly what's there, what this car would have come with. Uh, all right, so now we have our 1969 uh, Dodge Super B up on the lift here. We're gonna go through this front to back as we do with all of our cars and we're gonna go over all the steering, the suspension, Drive line, braking, frame, floors, wheels, and tires, and exhaust, obviously, while we're all underneath this car. So we'll go ahead and we'll start up at the front of the car going over the suspension and so forth. So tying in the whole front suspension, you have your K member up front. Now the K member on this car is in great condition. Uh, as far as the control arms for this vehicle, we've got the stock stamped uh, steel components. So your upper and lower control arms, that's all factory stuff there. It also has the front sway bar on it, the sway bar bushings at the frame, as well as the sway bar end links here, the bushings on that. All of that stuff is in good condition too, just like new underneath here. Um, as far as uh, the rest of it, uh, your shocks and so forth, those are in good shape. And as with, as common with the Mopar stuff here, you have the typical front strut rods on the car, as well as the torsion bar front suspension. Now the torsion bars, those are in great shape, as well as are the bushings where it goes through the frame and cross member back here. So all of that's in great shape. 
far as the steering on this car, it is power steering. Um, you can see the drag link here, tie rods on both sides are nice and straight, uh, and the ball joints on everything, um, all in good shape, all have the rubber dust boot covers on them so that that keeps all the grease and all the dirt and so forth out of that joint. Um, so again, that's all of your suspension up front. Braking on this car, power brakes. It's got disc brakes up front, drums on the rear, and that's all factory stuff for your brakes. So you'll be able to get parts for those anywhere that you go in for a regular auto parts store. Uh, now as we come in a little bit here towards the center, let's go over our drive line next here, and then once we get to the rear of the car, we'll hit the rear suspension. So with our drive line, this is a 383 cubic inch Mopar motor. Now it's not the numbers matching motor, however, it is a date correct 383 cubic inch Mopar engine. And as originally equipped, this car did have a 383 cubic inch motor. Behind that is the 421 new process four speed manual transmission. Uh, again, this was an original four speed car. So all of this falls in line with one another. The oil pan, as well as the transmission, all nice and dry here from what we see underneath the car. The flywheel, you got the cover on it here. So that's gonna keep anything from bouncing up and maybe chipping a tooth off of that flywheel. As we come back here a little further, of course, you've got your transmission cross member, and of course the mount here for the tail shaft, all of which is in good shape. Back here at the seal for the rear of the transmission, that's nice and dry where your slip yoke slides into it. No leaks or drips that I can see there. Of course, your drive shaft is balanced. That's going to eliminate a lot of vibration in your drive line. And then the rear, this is the Mopar 8 and 3 quarter inch rear. The center section here is a sure grip uh, third member and it has a 390 gear in it. Now as we slide out to the sides to go over the suspension, you're going to notice this has the multi-leaf rear suspension, just a set of regular gas charge shocks here. Uh, again, we've kind of just brushed on the braking system, but it is drums on the rear, and then it does have all the cables, everything is all hooked up and functioning for the emergency brake or parking brake. Now for wheels and tires, it's got the factory style Magnum 500 uh, wheel on this for the uh, um, uh, for the Magnum 500 rallies. Uh, it's got the beauty rings and the center caps all on them, all included. Like I said, 14 inch. And then for the tires, these are all BF Goodrich Radial TA tires. Now they did go a little different front to back with the sizes on them. We've got 215 70R14s on the front. And then on the back, we've got 23570 SR14s back there. Tread on these tires looks to be in really good shape too, so no issues there. As we come back, let's go to the exhaust system now. Uh, the exhaust, it starts off with your stock cast exhaust manifolds, then branches off into your dual exhaust down here, all the way back to a set of dual mufflers here, um, I was just trying to see if I could find a name brand on them. I do not see anything on them, but they're like a turbo style muffler. Uh, and then of course we've got the correct style of tailpipe. It goes up over top of the rear end housing and then shoots right straight back, right underneath the rear bumper on this car. Uh, nice set of slash cut, kind of a rectangular uh, uh, shaped chrome. Uh, exhaust tip back there, but a real nice looking piece back there. Um, as far as the frame and the floors, well, we've kind of already gone over the front section here, the K member, of course, your frame up front here, all nice and square, and in really, really good shape on this car. The floors, not a mark on them, I mean, no patching whatsoever. You can see all the stamping lines and all the floors here. You see all the braces that come from the sides. Those are all present. Um, and again, your pinch welds are nice and straight all the way back on both sides. Rockers are in great shape too. Um, you've got your fuel lines and brake lines run. Uh, this is your fuel line here, run right along that pinch weld on the passenger side. Brake lines are run right along the pinch weld on the driver's side, nice and neat all the way back. And then of course back here, we've got our stock fuel tank. 
Uh, the fuel tank itself, in great shape, no dents or dings in it whatsoever. The straps and all the mounting hardware in good shape too. Uh, and that's probably uh, really about it. As far as what we can see from underneath here with the trunk floor, everything is in great shape on this car. So what we'll do next is we'll get this down off of the lift. 